You've asked for years how I played Pokemon Soul Silver on my Switch. Today, I'll show you exactly how. By installing Melon DS and making a one tap home screen icon that looks exactly like it belongs on the Nintendo Online service, dialing in the settings, and even how I use a portrait grip setup. So those of you who've been asking, I apologize for taking forever, but if you're new here, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this video. Here's what you'll need. A modded Nintendo Switch running atmosphere, which gives you homebrew access. You'll need an SD card with free space and your own DS DSi BIOS firmware, which I did not provide in the description below. And your own legally dumped game backups. For the BIOS, you're gonna need BIOS7.bin, BIOS9.bin, firmware.bin, and if you're looking for the DSi, they have their own individual files. You're going to need to launch the homebrew with full RAM via the title override, which is holding the R button while launching any game or app to open the homebrew menu. It's more reliable than the album applet mode. I'll also show you a fun bypass for this later. Next you're going to need to install Melon DS for the Nintendo Switch. Put the Melon DS Switch build on your SD card so you have Switch, Melon DS, melondes.nro plus its supporting files. You're going to want to also place your BIOS firmware files in that folder. ROMs can live anywhere on your SD card. You'll browse them later inside the app. This is where the fun begins because I'm going to show you how to also set up a NSP forwarder. Basically what an NSP forwarder is, is it generates a small app that launches Melon DS from the home screen, basically making it its own app, launching it with its own full RAM as well without having to do the title override and launching it from the homebrew menu. What's nice about the NSP forwarder I mentioned earlier is that you can actually create a custom file, image file for this as well. I'm gonna include an image below that I found on Reddit that makes it look like it's part of the Nintendo Classics collection. So it fits in right next to your other apps. Go to the NSP forwarder link in the description below. Here you're gonna to wanna to drag your SD card files, NRO file to the website. Make sure all the paths are correct and include your production keys. You can get those from lockpick. Once you have all your files in there, you're gonna to wanna to hit generate NSP. And from here, you'll go back into your switch and install that NSP file that you download here. So make sure you put that somewhere in your switch preferably the root, and then install that NRO file. As I did a little bit more research, it looks like there's a Switch NSP forwarder that you can actually install on your Nintendo Switch. So if you wanna check that out, I include that in the description below. They essentially do the same things, but I'm not going over that on this video. For the display and layout, I prefer using the portrait rotation. So I 3D printed this portrait grip for a Switch OLED. And this allows a perfect stacked DS screen look that is more native to the DS that we all know and love. So there you go, that's how I play Nintendo DS on the Nintendo Switch. I've gotten plenty of questions over the years asking how I do it, so I hope this finally answered that question and everybody who subscribed and waited are now have their needs met. Let me know if this helped you out and if you have any other further questions on Nintendo Switch modding or anything else, just let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you guys, subscribe if you're new, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.